So my name is Mary Kirkpatrick. I'm the Chief Appraiser Director of the Forsyth County Tax Assessor's Office and I've been with the county for 25 years. So we have an example of a tax bill for a $450,000 home. If you look at that, you will notice the percentage of tax change on the right. More than 93% of the estimated tax increase comes from the school operations and the school bond. Just over 6% of the estimated increase comes from Forsyth County's taxing authorities, which are the operations, bond, and fire millage rates. In fact, the portion paid for the county operation remains the same for those who have homestead and floating exemptions. The county bond, which citizens voted to approve, increased just $36. The remainder of the increase goes to schools. If you are a resident in the county and have a floating homestead, you will see very little tax increase at all in your county portion of the taxes. Floating homestead, when you have reassessment, increases at an equal amount to any reassessment. Therefore, any reassessment that was done on your parcel for this year will zero out an increase on the county portion of the millage. It would only affect the bond, which is a very small portion of the tax bill. Well, property assessments are readily determined from the market. The uh, buyers and the sellers are setting the values in the real estate market right now. Um, we have certain standards that we have to meet from the Department of Revenue. We have guidelines to um, appraise property by and standards we have to meet to get an approved digest. And everything we do comes from the market. It is the buying and selling that's occurring out there right now that is where these values are being generated from. The assessments are determined by state law. There is a certain level of assessment we have to be at, and we take that from the market and then apply the standard set by the Georgia state law. Any taxpayer can file an appeal if they disagree with the value of the property. This can be done online, it can be done in person, uh, via email, fax, however they choose to do so. Um, the, deadline to appeal will be July 11th and you need to make sure that appeal is filed before that date. Once you get your tax bill it's going to be too late so make sure that that appeal is filed before July 11th and if you go through the process online it will give you a good idea of where the values are in your neighborhood and if you have a problem and just put it in and we'll review it for you. A millage rate is basically you pay one dollar for every thousand dollars of value that you have on your property. Um, in Georgia, the assessment level is 40 percent of your home value. So if you have a hundred thousand dollar home, you only pay on 40 percent of that value. And that would be forty thousand dollars and the mill rate would be one dollar for every forty for the forty thousand dollars that you pay. And that's how a mill is established. There will be two public hearings held on the millage rates. If you're interested in attending those, the times and dates and places of those hearings will be on the Forsyth County website. And if you have any questions regarding your assessment, please feel free to call the Forsyth County Tax Assessor's Office at 770-781-2106.